This is Banjo and today I'll teach you how to create a description.ext. This file can be used to add loading screen information, respawns, weapons pools and the mission briefing, as well as a lot of other options. First using Notepad I'll create a new text document. I'll open the document, save it as all file types, with the name of description.ext. This will generate a blank extension file, which I'll cut and paste into the mission folder. And we'll enter all our information into this file. Next I'll take a look at the description.ext BI wiki page. Scrolling through the contents you can see all the functions that description.ext is capable of. In this example, I'll be using the Securing Camp Rogaine mission that I created for the task module video. Looking at the description.ext file that I created, we can see the first segment has to do with information displayed during loading. The second segment has to do with multiplayer information. And the final segment is respawn information. Here we'll take a look at it in game. Clicking on the mission that I created, we can see the information displayed, which includes the mission name and the author name. The next section that I'll be taking a look at is Respawn. There's many respawn options available, and Arma 3 introduced many more, but I'll be looking at the most basic of functions. And here we can see four of the functions. None means you won't respawn. Bird, your respawn is bird. Instant, your respawn on the location you died at. But for base, you need to include respawn locations as listed here. For the example mission, I'll be using group respawn, which will allow me to respawn onto any playable squad mate available. Taking a look at the description.extension file, we can see here that I have a respawn set up as group with a respawn delay of 5 seconds. Now I'll take a look at it in game. Upon the unit's death, the camera will pan to the new unit, allowing you to assume control. And finally, we'll take a look at how to create a picture that's displayed during loading. As I scroll down to the load screen entry, you can see that a PAA file format is required for a load screen. Taking a look into the mission folder, we can see that I use JPEG file format. I noticed a couple of years ago that JPEG is compatible as well. This saves you from having to use a converter program like TextView, which I'll do a tutorial on in the future. And now I'll run the mission and we'll get to see the picture displayed on loading. You're also able to see all the information generated by the first section of the extension file. For each entry, the wiki page includes a description as well as an example, and I'll link it in the description. And you can try out each function in the editor to figure out exactly what they do.